three. My sisters and I used to play dolls together when we were kids. It was probably our favorite game. However, as a little kid, there weren't very many dolls that looked like us at all. They were not our skin tones and definitely didn't have our features. And I was always confused because dolls are meant to look like people. I'm a person, so why wouldn't the doll look like me? But somehow it never did. Like most black girls, this affected our self-esteem. It made us feel like we had to be beautiful to be, we had to be white to be beautiful. This issue within the black community gave birth to the doll line Queens of Africa. So today we will first explore why the dolls were created. Second, we will explore how these dolls are different from dolls already on the American market. And lastly, we will explore why there weren't more black dolls on the market before. As a child, I did not quite understand why so many of the dolls were white, and I also did not understand how they were affecting my own perception of myself. We can explore why the dolls were created by first, seeing the creator's inspiration, and second, discovering how that relates to the mission of his product. First, creator Taufik Akoya tells Forbes of May 18, 2016, that his daughter inspired inspired him to create the dolls. He noticed that she was having an identity crisis, saying she wished she was white. And I was trying to figure out where that came from. I used to always buy her white dolls, and it never got to me that it was relevant which color her dolls were. Second, Elle Magazine of January 28, 2015, states that Okoya has now made it his mission to use the Queens of Africa dolls to inspire young African girls. Okoya looks to bring this model to life by giving black girls role models that they can look up to from an early age. When my niece was born, I sought to only buy her black dolls, but that was increasingly difficult. To see why the dolls are different, we must first explore the most popular dolls currently, and then we can see what makes the Queens of Africa dolls unique. First, currently the most popular doll brand is Barbie, which is owned by the toy company Mattel. Barbie has been popularized by their character of a white woman with a big smile, blonde hair, blue eyes, and slim body. Although there have been efforts to diversify the Barbie doll, but most people still see Barbie as the blonde-haired, blue-eyed woman that she has always been. Mm -hmm. Second, what sets apart the Queens of Africa dolls from the more popular Barbie dolls is that the fact that the dolls are specifically geared towards black girls. Mm -hmm. According to the Huffington Post of May 23rd, 2016, all of the Queens of Africa dolls depict black women in varying skin tones, natural hair, and in the latest African fashions. I can remember going shopping for toys to buy for my niece. After searching through white dolls, I would always have to ask if there were black dolls in the back. Sometimes there were, but most of the time there wasn't. Unfortunately, there were not a lot of black dolls on the market prior to the Queens of Africa because of first, opposition to buying black dolls, and second, the mentality of store owners. First. According to the Atlanta Black Star of May 25th, 2016, there have been buyers who did not want to buy black dolls because they thought they were too dark. However, despite this opposition from a few, it has become the most popular selling doll in Nigeria with international sales in Brazil, the US, and across Europe. Second, the creator of Queens of Africa tells The Root Magazine of May 25th, 2016, that there's still somewhat of a colonial brainwash present in the US. And store owners would tell me, oh no, black dolls don't sell. Give us more white dolls. When I first presented the dolls, there's somewhat of a bandwagoning mentality here where people simply follow trends without asking themselves why. I wish Queens of Africa existed when I was younger. It would save me from a lot of confusion that I had growing up. Black girls often felt that they were not represented in the doll market, and that gave birth to the Queens of Africa doll line. By exploring the doll company was created, how the dolls are different from dolls already on the market, and why there weren't more black dolls before, we can see that the doll line has contributed to the black community. 
Now that black girls are being represented in the doll market, they can begin from a young age to love themselves fully. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the black dolls over there in the background. <laughs> we got the black baby dolls. <laughs>